What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. So guys, the Criminal Enterprises update is now available in GTA Online. Earlier today, I already made a video about it, showing you guys the new cars, the new content. If you want to check it out, you can click top right. But right now, we are doing the new missions, the ULP missions, where you can basically play as a IAA agent. And right now, we are doing the first one, ULP Intelligence. If you want to play the missions, you have to wait for a call from Agent ULP and then you have to go to the yellow U on the map and then basically if you go there you can start the first mission, ULP Intelligence. We are going to do this stealth and solo. So in this mission you can also do it aggressive but we are going to do it stealth. Keep in mind also guys, this week these missions are double cash and double RP so of course this will influence the payment that we will get at the end. So in this mission, it's the first one, you first have to take a pledge, you are basically now a IAA agent, and then you get on the street and you can basically get started. I would really recommend that you guys listen to the dialogues that you have in this mission, because it's pretty funny and it's also quite an interesting story. But basically, there is something wrong with the oil prices, they are fixed, and the main suspect is the Duggan family. So the first thing that you have to do is go to an apartment from one of the Duggans, and basically find his computer. The computer will be on the second floor, so go ahead and go to the stairs. Sadly, in this mission, you cannot walk fast, so you have to walk like this all the time, even though there is no one in the apartment. Go to the second floor, like I said, go to the bedroom, and then you will find this computer. On this computer, you will have to do a simple hack. I think everyone knows how to do this hack in GT Online. And from this hack, you will get two locations where you basically have to go, and at these two locations, you have to steal two pieces of hardware. So we can see on the map two locations, A and B. If you're doing it solo, I recommend that you do A first, because A is the more difficult one, and if you complete A, then it will be very easy to complete B. So A is the FIB building. In the same street as the FIB building, you will see that you have an outfit on your map. If you take this outfit, you can do it stealth. If you want to do it without the outfit, so aggressive, of course, you can also do that, but in my personal opinion, it's much more fun if you do it like this. So take the outfit at the construction site out of the back of the van, return to the FIB building, so point A, and then you can just walk in. Obviously, because you are disguised, don't equip any weapons. I think that's clear. Go in the building, go to the elevator. We recognize this from uh, the Diamond Casino preps as well. And then upstairs, you will see that there is kind of some construction going on. In this area, you are free to move. When you exit this area, then basically if someone sees you, then they will alert everyone and then the alarm kind of goes off. So first thing that you have to do is wait for this guy to go in the room on the right, take him out. After you take him out, go outside, take a gun with a oppressor, kill those two guards very fast, of course, because if you do it slow, the other guards will alert the other FIB agents. Of course, try to do it with a headshot. Now the first piece of hardware, two possible locations, either this office that I just went into or the last one that you have in this hall. So in the back, in one of those two offices, you will see a box with a iPad in it or a tablet in it. And that's the first piece of hardware that you have to collect. For the second piece of hardware that you can find in the FIB building, go back to the elevator. So the place where you basically start it and then you have to go to the other side. So the other room again. Just in general, make sure that no one sees you, look on your map, make sure that you're not in the cones of the uh, FIB agents and then you should be fine. Also, if you kill someone, make sure that no one hears it and also no one sees it. So over here, there will be a guard or an agent patrolling like this. Be careful for him. You can simply take him out. You don't have to worry about the other two guys. Then take him out, take a gun, take out these two guys over here. And then again, there's two locations where you can find the second piece of hardware. It's either in this conference room over here or in this office over here on the table. The second piece of hardware, you can find it in a suitcase and it's just a small piece. Now there's also another possible location for this piece of hardware as well. So same hall, same two guards that you take out. Look out for the guard that's patrolling in the hall. And then the other location is basically over here in the last room and then on the left. So again, the same suitcase, same piece of hardware, but other possibility where it could be. So for both the two pieces that you find in the FIB uh, office, you basically have two locations where it could be. I have done this mission three times. 
and I also asked someone else where he found the hardware and until now these are the only locations that I've heard. So it could be that there's also another location but like I said it's either a iPad in a box or a suitcase. The thing that you have to do with this mission is simply make sure that no one sees you and that's basically it. Then location B, this one is easier. Before you enter, you have to take out two fuse boxes. The first one is very easy to find. It's basically at the right of the building. You can't miss it. You can destroy it however you want. I did it with a sticky bomb over here. You can also simply just shoot it with a gun, with a RPG. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to worry that you will make too much noise. Then the second fuse box is at the front of the building. And basically it will be above this kind of roof that you have. So you can always recognize the fuse box because it has a red arrow pointing at it. Again, it could be that there is another location for the fuse box, but so far these are the only two that I have seen. Inside you will see a depot. This is basically a depot where the FIB stores impounded goods. And there will be two items that you find over here as well. Again, a small item and then also a VR headset. Now for the small piece of hardware, as far as I know, it's always on a desk. You have four desks in this depot, so basically check all the desks for the small piece of hardware. Then for the VR headset, you can find it on a shelf. That's at least where I have found it so far. And the shelf, you can find it next to the red container, and I found it on the right always. So it's a white VR headset, it will be on shelves, should be easy to find as well. If it's not on the shelves, Maybe it could also be somewhere else, but I have done it three times and it was always on the shelves for me. So the shelves will be on the right in the middle of the depot when you enter. It could also maybe be on the left, but just check for the shelves. Then for the small piece, like I said, on any desk and it will look like a white rectangle on the desk. It should also be kind of clear if you see it. So for me, just to show you guys, you enter from there where you see the blue circle, the garage door. Then over here on the right you have the desk and then in the back you have the shelves. That's where I found it. So look for desks and shelves. I hope you guys can find it. After that you can simply exit. You have to go to the drop off and that's basically the mission. I think the hardest part is location A, the FIB building. If you complete that and just take out the fuse boxes for location B then it should be very easy to complete this. For the payment keep in mind this week it's double cash and double RP. When I did it solo, I got 40k. When I did it with someone else, probably because I did it faster, I got 35k. So in a normal week, it will be around 20k, 17k for completing this mission, which obviously isn't that much, but I have to say it was a pretty fun mission. So guys, that's basically it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.